Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, thanks for watching, this time with another Pils from Leipzig. This is Stelmbol Pilsner, uh, founded 1822. Uh, this is a quite legendary one, uh, they do have um, as much as 9% of the beer uh, market in uh, East Germany, so very popular in East Germany. They also have, their most sold one is their export, which I also have. Um, and I'm gonna review that in the future, so feel free to look forward to that. But I feel for a pills uh, this evening, although always right time for a pills, you know, the uh, grass uh, hops taste that strong uh, hops bitterness taste that you want from a from a pills, especially a German pills that uh, so really, really fresh and nice. That's what I uh, like really much. Uh, probably my favorite barrel style is really fresh German Pilsners. Uh, so it looks like this. And uh, you might think that it gives a little sheep impression um, with a cap and no back label and the way the label look and so on, like a supermarket beer or something like that. But it's really a quite legendary beer and brewery, so I'm really looking forward to try this one and I'm gonna give you as always some history about this brewery. Uh, the name Stellenburg in Germany, also called Stelni, denotes a beer brand from Leipzig in Germany which belongs to the Radebergel group. Often in daily speech they mean their best-selling beer brand Stellenburg Export, which uh, with a market share of 9.5 percent, Stellenburg is a beer brand that has its largest sales share in Germany's eastern federal states. The beer brand Stellenburg has its own fan, fan magazine. Stelny is published regularly on Stellenburg's website. It was started in 2006 and contains stories from fans and also songs from bands um, which have written about Stellenburg. Stellenburg's history dates back to uh, the year 1278, when for the first time a brewery on an estate between Elster and Mühlteich is mentioned. After the estate was purchased by uh, Wilhelm von Meckfritz in uh, 1822, it became the property of Maximilian Spix, who really intended the breed sheep to the spot. When Maximilian Spix was obliterated, he uh, asked to be called Stelnbog. At the first, uh, at first the beer was not allowed to be sold in Leipzig, but when Speck had taken over Leipzig or Burgkeller in April 1823, he was granted a permit from the Leip Leipzig City Council. At this time approximately 30,000 hectoliters per year were sold. Following the German reunification in 1990, the independent company Stellenburg Brauerei GmbH was, former, was formed in collaboration with Stuttgart of Hofbräu. As export opportunities disappeared, the number of liters produced decreased to approximately 60,000 hectoliters. Stellenburg was later sold to Sachsenbräu AB, and uh, the beer began to be produced in Redunitzer Brauerei. Stellenburg now belonged 100% of the beverage group Braunbrunnen, which later became a part of Radberger Gruppe. And uh, I'm gonna give you also some longer information about this brewery because there's a little bit to tell more. Uh, the Stellenburg Brewery is a former brewery in the Lütsch, Lütschena district of Leipzig, which existed between 1822 and 1991. The brewery is uh, the eponym for the Stellenburg beer brand and the majority of the listed buildings on the streets to the old brewery are still preserved. 1822 to 1945. In 1822 the Leipzig merchant and wool trader Maximilian Speck acquired the manor in Lütschena to or in order to build a model farm with cattle breeding there. At this time there was already a brewery on this site which had been um, producing beer since the middle of the 18th century at L latest at the latest and was given permission to serve and sell beer in 1795. In 1823 Speck, um, as the new owner of the brewery, was given permission to sell plain and full beer in Leipzig wine cellar Burgkeller, now uh, called Naschmarkt 123, which has existed since 1492. 
in 1829, Speck, now Baron Speck von Sternburg, stayed in Bavaria at the invitation of King Ludwig I, uh, where he leased, among other things, the Sankt Veit Monastery. From Sankt Veit, uh, he brought the brewmaster who had been working there until uh, then to uh, Lucina, who converted the Manor Brewery into a Bavarian style brewery with, in which bottom fermented lager beers were produced. From this point on, the beers was increasingly sold, uh, marketed under the Stellenburg name. For reasons of capacity, a new and larger brewery was built outside the Castle Park from uh, 1834 to 1836, which from then on was mostly known under the name Freiherrliche Speck from Sternburgsche Bayerische Bierbrauerei. In the same year, Speck von Sternburg also started growing hops for its own beer production. In 1846 to 1847, the site had been expanded for the first time due to increased sales and three new storage cellars were built. Alexander Maximilian, the youngest son of Speck von Sternburg, inherited the Lütschena estate and thus the brewery after the death of his father in 1856. In 1864, the beer was sold and served in addition to the Leipzig Burgkello through two of its own locations, the Gasthof zu Lütschena and the Lütschena Keller in Speckshof. Further restorations in the fair trade city were, were purchased until 1880. Between 1876 and 1930, the brewery was extensively expanded and continuously modernized, modernized in several steps, which mainly concerned technical facilities such as the brew house, malting plant, steam boiler and steam engine system, as well as fermentation and storage cellars. In 1892, bottled beer shipping was introduced, and in 1911, the siding for the Waren Freight station was put into operation. Alexander Maximilian Speck von Sternburg operated the brewery until his death in 1911. His son, James Alexander, uh, who lived from 1856 to 1916, converted the brewery in 1913 to the Sternburg GmbH Leipzig Lütschena around. At that time, the company was the largest source of income for the Speck von Stellenberg family and was one of the largest breweries in central Germany. In 1913, the brewery bought the Leipzig Castle cellar, and between 1915 and 1924, the beer production was restricted due to the war. In 1940, the longtime manager of the brewery, Oswald Winde, published a large format over 650 page commemorative publication on the occasion of his 50th anniversary. The Leipzig writer uh, Paul Dane was commissioned to write the text of the private print, which sometimes spills out and pays homage to uh, National Socialism. Between 1900 and 1940, he wrote several commemorative publications for Leipzig companies. In the last years of the Second World War, forced laborers were employed in the brewery and history 1945 until today. After the end of the Second World War, the Speck von Stellenberg family gave up their goods in Lütschena and from 1946 the Soviet military administration administered the brewery. In 1947 the company was nationalized and assigned to the VVV breweries based in Dresden. From 1968 the brewery was part of the VEV beverage combine in Leipzig. The Stellenberg brewery, which was extremely successful in the GDR, produced around 500,000 hectoliters of beer in 1989 with around 500 employees. After the political change, Stellenberg Brauerei GmbH was founded in 1990 in uh, cooperation with the Stuttgart Hofbräu. The production volume fell sh sharply due to the loss of export opportunities. Brewing was discontinued on May 15, 1991, and the plant was finally closed on August 31st the same year. The Reudnitzer Brewery has been running the Stellenberg brand since 1992. Uh, the partially listed, of, uh, listed site of the brewery has been idle since 1991. In May 2018, it was proposed to convert the site into a residential complex. On May 13, 2018, a major fire broke in, out in five different locations in the former brewery. Uh, so that's some information about this brewery. Stellenburg and uh, 
gonna be really interesting to try those ones. Sternburg Pilsner seit 1822. Bier gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot. Äh, Fein Herbe Sternburg Brauerei GmbH. Leipzig Sternburg Bier DE is linked on Bro's website. I'll link to it in the description box below, of course. Zutaten Brauer ist registriert in als Hopfen Hopfen Extrakt. Uh, 4.9 ABV. Uh, alcohol content, very typical for the style. One less look at volume, we'll move from going to the tasting part. Real nice looking, in my opinion, the classical looking Stellenborg Pilsner Fine Herb. This is really going to be a, a nice one. And of course, Fine Herb. That's something, something that you want from a Pils. Fine Herb. And it's going to be good and nice with a fresh uh, hops taste. So let's open this one up. Stellenborg Pilsner. And pour it up. Really excited about this one. Always right time for a German fresh pills, isn't it? This is how it should look. Great pouring. Um, nice two finger white head. Typical, very golden color uh, of the beer, in my opinion, which really gonna be very nice. So let's get the aroma quite quick. If you don't play pills, you feel the perfect uh, hops, grassy hops, uh, bitterness in this one. Really, really nice. So let's try it before the head disappears. Stellenborg Pilsner. Post. Yeah, so refreshing and nice. This is what you want from Pils. Um, Stellenborg Pils now is really nice. Doesn't disappoint me at all. Um, fresh and nice in hops taste. That's always what you return to regarding describing the um, the taste of, of the Pils. It's the grassy hops taste. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and this is a really nice one. Definitely perfect for for uh, hot summer days, um, which is then pills, of course, is the best style for that moment. The freshness of the pills um, that's something that I at least always long for uh, during those days. This fresh hops taste from, from the German pilsters. So this is a real nice one, really fresh in, in the hops taste. That's something very important, the most important thing on the pills, of course. The balance and the and how fresh the grass hops taste is. Um, this is a real nice one regarding that. Yeah, not bad at all. This one really does it. Um, and I look forward to try their export, of course, as well. I'm glad the brown loves on. Thanks to uh, Radeberger, uh, who are uh, continuing to brew it, uh, this beer. Um, unfortunately, as I mentioned, the brewery was uh, was closed in the 90s. Um, but it's a legendary brewery, definitely uh, it's a must to have here on the channel. Stellenborn Pilsner is, uh, is something that you really should uh, should try, in my opinion. Might look cheap uh, on on the bottle, you might uh, think, but it's a nice tasting one. That's it. That's the um, Stellenborg Pilsner, uh, which is a nice pils. Uh, of course, not as strong in its hops taste as the uh, Jeddel, because no pils is as strong as, as uh, in the hops taste as Jeddel, uh, um, as far as I know. Um, so, but still, it's, it's real nice. And um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Hope you continue to follow my channel. 
um, for more interesting beer reviews from Germany, of course. And um, like, comment, subscribe, and hope I see you again in the next German beer review.